you're looking for the answers, I still don't have them. But what I do have is a particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people who mislead, misinform, or misrepresent the sports card industry. So if you don't do that, I'll let it go. But if you do, I'm gonna talk about you. Guys, welcome back to another episode of the Sports Card Investigator Show. My name is Andy. I am the aforementioned Sports Card Investigator. And today, I wanted to hop on real quick. I'm always a day late and a dollar short with the breaking news, but I figure I'll hop on and give you my two cents or $18 as the case may be. PSA has announced a temporary grading tier of value for $18. There's a couple caveats, restrictions. The declared value has to be $199. For those of you who are unaware, $199 has to be the cost of the card once it's graded. So once the card is graded, it has to be under or at $199. You have to submit a minimum of 20 cards. And to be eligible for this deal, you have to have a membership with PSA and they are saying a 150 day turnaround, so I'm gonna guess between six and eight months, we will see. So is that good or bad? Well, it's cheaper. I mean, in this economic turmoil that we're dealing with on a daily basis, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. And again, don't even think about doing this unless you have some expendable funds. Uh, other content creators have hopped on much quicker than I did and gave their opinions on on it and, and why PSA is doing that. That's all good. All great information. Dustin and Neo and because I'm Carlos, I'm sure by the time you see this um, video, others will have followed. All good theories. I mean, for me, the bottom line is money. That's probably the only, you know, it's just money. Uh, PS look, PSA is looking to crush their competition, whether, you know, whoever that may be. And they're doing it by lowering the price. Uh, they've increased their capacity to take on these this, this mountain of cards that's going to be coming in. Uh, a month gives PSA a good test to see if they can handle the millions of cards, garbage, that's going to be... <laughs> hitting their warehouse. I hope I'm wrong, but people are going to submit at this price stuff that they probably shouldn't. And what's that old saying? If you don't learn from history, we're doomed to repeat it. And this is pretty recent history. And I think a lot of us are going to be doomed to repeat it. I hope it's not you. I know it's not going to be me. Uh, but free will, free will, as I always say, as I always say. So as far as my take about the price being lowered and the reasons behind it, who cares? Who cares? Uh, none of it matters, right? None of it matters. The only thing that matters to me if it makes sense to grade at the $18 mark. If it does, do it. If it doesn't, don't do it. Uh, but I will tell you this. I'll give you some. I'll give you some insight. I'll give you some of the factors that I look at before I'm going to throw in some of these cards for that $18 grade. And again. The information is worth what you guys are paying. Nothing. But just before we send in our cards to be examined and pressed between two pieces of plastic, here are the things that I look for. Number one, take the cost or the estimate cost of what a PSA 9 of the card you're going to grade will bring. Okay? Minus your grading cost. Minus what you paid for the card, minus potential taxes and fees, and if applicable, the cost of your PSA membership. After all that, if it makes sense, then you're good to go. Your margins, you should look at a 25 to 30% margin when you get these back. Um, to make it worthwhile, especially with a $199 declared value on a lot of cards, it may be a little tight. I'll give you an example. You buy a card for 10 bucks, you grade it for 18, now we're at $38. Taxes and fees, maybe we're up to another 43 or $44. Um, just take that in consideration because if a PSA 9 of that card is coming back at, say, anything less than 60, 65 bucks, it's a loser. It's a loser. So keep that in mind. Um, so, I, I mean, it's it's just it's just going to come down to economic sense 
That's all it is. Economic sense. Um, if it doesn't matter to you and you don't mind taking a loss on some of the cards because maybe you'll grade 50 or you have to grade 20, maybe you'll grade 20 cards out of those 20, 15 or 16, you'll, you'll hit that profit margin. You might lose money on a few. I mean, take all that in consideration. But again, if it makes sense, fiscal sense, then go ahead and do it. Uh, if it's for your PC and you don't care and you think $18 is going to be the lowest it's going to be for a while and you're a PSA person, go ahead. Um, if you're going to do it and you don't care if you lose a little money and it's for your PC again, that's fine. But if you're flipping or if you're grading to flip, then it's important to know those margins and what you're getting into before you send it in. Because again, we saw this before on that $15 grade. Um, a lot of cards went in and came back worth less than people expected and they're behind the eight ball. I just don't want to see that to anyone. So take that in consideration. So that's it. Quick episode, wanted to hop on, give you my two cents worth, uh, if, if it's even worth that. And um, let me know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments what you guys are feeling. So that's all for today. If you like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you don't like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And until next time, Take care.